Hello everybody. I'm just going to do this video. I just thought I'd sit down and film it. Um, I am going to fill my new portable painter um, with these Daniel Smith uh, Gene Haynes Master Artist Set um, with the in this and I'll pro it'll probably take me a little bit so I probably will you know start this and then you know put it to music or something so you can just watch me or if you don't want to watch it that's fine too so but you know I'll put it to some enjoyable music and you can watch my process so I have opened this and looked at it it is I got it because I plan on going out into the woods and um, taking my watercolors with me and I think this would be a perfect set to do it and put this with a little sketchbook. I'll show you a sketchbook I plan on putting with it. Either this, probably that one or this square one. I'm not sure. They're from Jerry's Artorama. And carry this and I could put a take a water brush with me. And then I'd have a kit and maybe an ink pen. Oh when I when I get the set set up I'll I'll show you the setup because I'd probably put it in a little pouch and everything. So I am going to start and I'm going to put them in the order they come. And do these pop out? Get a palette knife. They do pop out. So, but I am going to put them in the order they come in the package so I can know exactly how they came in the box. Because these are just too, I wouldn't be able to see it, so and they're too small anyway to um, label them. So I'm going to do it the way the package says, which the first one is Cascade Green. And I, I do have some footage of this, so I'm going to do this one first. And I do have some swatches of this. So, Cascade Green. I don't think they're quite as big as half pans. They're a little bit smaller, I think. Cascade Green. The second one is Green Appetite Genuine. Foresty colors. And next one is Opera Pink. I love opera pink. I, lo I think I'll use that a lot because I like to make flowers. And I think it'd be perfect for cherry blossoms and hairs on trees with that green. Oh. And here's Quinacridone Magenta. Imperial Purple. Okay, that's five. So I'm going to go underneath. I'm not going to go all the way across because I think I'll leave this for like a burnt umber 
and maybe Bert Santa. So the next one that she's got is Nickel as a Yellow. So I'm gonna put it just like it is on the on the box here. And I can take a picture of that and put it on put it on my website. So if you want to download anything, you can go there. And I'll leave links to this um, portable painter in the description below and on my website. Okay, and then Aussie Red Gold. I never thought I'd use this color. I have seen it used. But I don't know. We'll see. And Moon Glow. I might top these off after they dry. Because they'll probably go down. And then I'll put another layer on top. And the next one is Undersea Green. I might do a quick swatch. And here is Lunar Blue. Might be able to make a nice dark. Um, let me just open this. Because I'll probably use this sketchbook. I can do some quick swatches in this sketchbook, but I would like to keep a swatch card, but that, when that closes, it's pretty tight. So this is just a Reflections from Jerry's Artorama. And it's three and a half by five and a half sketchbook. I've used the bigger ones. They are pretty nice. They are 140 pound watercolor paper. Let me double check that. Yes, 140 pound watercolor paper. When it opens, it lays flat so you can go across both pages. So what I'm going to do is just on this first page, I'll write my name and stuff in there. But on this first page, since it's just one page, I'm going to take a small brush. And I'm just going to swatch these. Let me get my, and that does come out and lay flat. Can you see? I might zoom in so you can see those colors a little better. That's really pretty. Yes. It's real foresty. Real hunter green. Oh, that'd be, oh, that's really pretty. And here's an upper pink. Oh, that'd be beautiful for flowers. An Aquadorm Magenta. Mmm, they're so pigmented. 
Imperial Purple. I know I like this. I have already had this one in a larger tube. Mm. And I'll see red gold. It's kind of like an orange, but it goes out to yellow. Mmm. Colors are nice. This is Moon Glow, or I think it's Moon Glow. Yes. It's just like a gray with a. I think it has a purple undertone. I think it does. And this is Undersea Green. Still a little deeper than that other. Total, three, three greens, but totally different. This has a turquoise undertone. And here is lunar blue, which is a darker blue. Hmm. It's almost like an indigo. It's really pretty. So let's do a couple mixes at the bottom. Let's see what kind of dark, what kind of brown I can get, and what kind of black I can get, chromatic black. So I've done some mixes, but let's see if I can take this moon glow and that chronacridone magenta. Hmm, let's see. Let's take the Moon Glow. Let's put a little water here. Spritz a little water on there. Let's take some of that Moon Glow that's right there. Oh, I got the green. I'm gonna have to figure out something. So if I took that green and then took this Quinn Magenta. Oh, that makes a nice dark. Let's see what that makes. Oh, that makes like a maroon. Take a little bit more of that green. Deepen it up a little bit. Makes it a little bit more brown. Hmm. Take just a little bit more. Yeah, that makes a that makes a pretty brown. Okay, so I like that. And then you could dilute it to make it even lighter. So, really like that. Okay, so let's take some of that Moon Glow. So that would be Moon Glow right there. So if I take that Moon Glow and Color Theory, if I mix it with a yellow or this orange, I'm going to get, that's going to neutralize that. So let me take this Aussie 
red gold. Oh, nice. It's a little on the orange side. That's kind of a yellow brown. So let me take a little bit more of the moon glow. And you just have to experiment. That makes it even a darker brown. So I can definitely get my browns. So now, if I added some lunar blue in there, because that looks kind of like a burnt umber and burnt sienna. So if I add some lunar blue in there, that should turn it a nice dark. And it does. It's a little green undertone, so I'm gonna get just a teeny tiny bit of red and put in there. And that should darken it up. Oh. Not totally black, but a little red. Let's add a little bit more blue. There we go. There we go. It's black. So what I did was I took two colors that are across the color wheel from each other so they would neutralize. So I took Moon Glow and Aussie Red Gold. And I mixed them together and got a really nice brown. So I know that Burnt Sienna or Burnt Umber and Ultramarine Blue make a black. So I was going for it, or dark. And so I was going for a dark and this had a it came out dark, but it was green undertone. So I had a little bit red, but I added a little too much red. So I went back to the blue and added just a teeny tiny bit more blue. And got that. Black. And if you layered that up, you could get it to read even more black. Very nice. Very nice paints. So if you wanted some, like to make a tree. And silhouette. You could definitely do that. Very nice, very nice. I hope you can see that. I don't even have my light on. So, oh, that would have been so much better if I would have had my light on. So, okay, so I'm going to let this set up, and I think I'm just going to enjoy this so much. See, for trees and rocks, and that for water, and I wonder if you could even do a skin tone. Say if I went with upper pink. And some nickel has a yellow. That's really orange. How about Quinn Magenta? Mix that.
might be a skin tone if you add a little bit of that lunar blue. Just to dull it down a little bit. Just a teeny tiny bit. Yep, I think it can work. So, okay. So, that's all for this video. Like I said, I will link everything down in the description box. And a link to my website. And everything will be at my website, including a chart for this Jean Haynes kit. Daniel Smith, very nice paints. So that's all for today, and I'll see you next time. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Thanks, and subscribe. Thanks.